Hello everyone, happy to see you here, welcome back to my channel Hi Mathematics. Today we have very interesting and in the same way very tricky question from math exam. A lot of students solve this question absolutely incorrect, so right now let's try to solve it. On the first side it looks like very easy question, x square minus 2 equal to square root of x plus 2 and we need to find our x. If you have your solution, your answer, you can also write your solution down into the comment section. So first of all I want to mention one really important moment. So right here we have square root, so it means that our x plus 2 right here, so our expression right here need to be positive and greater or equal than zero and of course our left side on the left side our expression need to be positive because we have square root and square root expression with the square root cannot be negative so our x square minus two need to be positive as well. So two really important moments. So right now I'll leave it like that, but this is extremely important thing for our question. So right now let's try to solve it. First of all, in a lot of percentage of cases, we just need to raise both sides to the second power. So let's do this right now. So we're going to raise our left side, so x square minus 2, we're going to raise to the second power, and we're going to raise our right side to the second power. So we have square root of x plus 2, we're going to raise to the second power. Right here we can easily cancel it because we have square root sign and we have second power and right now this is our basic basic school formula. As a result on the left side we have x to the power 4 minus 2 times 2 and times x square x square plus 4 plus 4 equal to x plus x plus 2. X plus 2. Okay, right now let's write all of this stuff on the left side, not on the right side, so let's subtract this expression from our right side. As a result, we have x to the power 4 minus 2 times 2 times x square, x square plus 4 plus 4, and minus x, and minus minus 2. Minus 2 is equal to is equal to 0. Right now, really important moment, really tricky moment. So I'm gonna I'm gonna solve this question. I'm not gonna simplify this. Right now, we're gonna show a really great method. How can we how can we solve it? So a really great method with a substitution. So let because we have force power, we have x, we have we have a complicated stuff. We have force power, we have square, and we have first power. So first power. So it's not that easy to solve it. But with this substitution, we can easily solve it real quick. So let t is equal to 2. This is not the common substitution, but in the same way it helps us a lot. So t equal to 2. A really great, really great substitution. So as a result, right here we have 2, we have 2 times 2 equal to 4. So 4, this is our 2t, two 2t. Two right here we have 4. We're gonna write it as not t, but t square, because we have 4. So we have t square, okay, t square, and as a result we have 2. Two, this is only our our t. So I hope you understand this substitution t equal to 2 and we're gonna change all of this constant which is not the common thing just agree with me this is not a common thing I'm not gonna change this x I'm change a constant according to substitution this is extremely great thing I hope you will understand my my explanation right now so right now according to our substitution we will have x to the power 4 x to the power 4 minus 2tx square, 2 times t times x square. The next thing we have plus t square, t square, minus x and minus t. A lot of students might be thinking, hey, mister, we have a, a complicated question right now because we have x and we have t. Uh, what are we going to do next? Right now, let's try to group it, okay? So as a result, we have 2tx square and we're going to uh, add to this 2tx square, we're going to add this minus t. So we, we group it, we we can easily we can easily group it. And on the first position, position, let's write t square. So let's reorder all of this stuff. And on the first position, let's write this t square, okay? So as a result, we have t square, okay? The next thing, minus 2tx square, so this expression, 2tx square, minus t from here, minus t. And in the end, we have plus x to the fourth power, x to the fourth power, and minus x. Minus x is equal to is equal to zero. What I do right now? Right now we have the ex quadratic equation in terms of uh, in terms of t. This is a force. Uh, this is equation with the fourth power in terms of x. This is a quadratic equation in terms of t. Just look at it. Right here I'm going to factor t. So as a result we have t square. Okay, let's do this. So we have t square minus. Right here we're going to have like parentheses two x square. So as a result we have two x square plus one and times right here we have t, okay, and plus x to the fourth power and minus minus x. So right now I really hope you understand it. Right now we have a quadratic equation in terms of t. So this is our a, ax square, this is our b we have right here, this is our b, 
and this is our receive. This is the quadratic equation in terms of t. So how can we solve this quadratic equation? We're going to solve it according to a discriminant, okay? So our discriminant, oh, let's write it right here. So our discriminant is equal to b squared minus 4aac. Okay, let's do this. So our b squared, 2x squared plus 1 squared. So we have 2x squared plus 1. We have square. So we have b squared minus 4 times a times 1 and times c, c equal to x to the fourth power minus x, x to the fourth power minus minus x. Okay, right now let's simplify this a little bit. As a result, what do we have? This one, one we can easily raise to the second power. So as a result, we have 4x to the power 4 plus 4x square, 4x square and plus 1 minus, right here we have 4x to the fourth power minus 4x to the fourth power and plus right here we have 4x. And right now the really great moment because we can easily cancel our 4x to the fourth power and as a result we have 4x square. I'm gonna write this 4x on the second position so plus 4x and right here we have plus 1. But extremely great moment because this is our formula 4x square plus 4x and plus 1. Our discriminant we can easily write as 2x plus 1 so we have 2x plus 1 raise to the to the second power so we can easily write it as as a formula because when we raise this we will have absolutely the same thing why this expression is extremely great for us because the next thing we're going to find we're going to find square root of our discriminant we really need this for our formula so this have a square root of 2x plus 1 2x plus 1 to the to the second power and of course we can easily write it with the mm, absolute value because we can easily cancel our square root sign and second power but uh, to write it correctly you can easily write with absolute value of course in our formula we're gonna use plus minus so it changed nothing for us but the correct way to express this is with absolute value of course in terms of our formula we're gonna write it with plus minus but just leave it like that this is a correct way to write it right now let's find our t first and t second so t first and t second equal to minus b plus minus square root of discriminant and all over to a. These are all known formula. Right now let's plug in all of this, all of this stuff to our to our formula. As you can see right here, this is our b, this is our uh, with the negative sign. So b is with the negative sign. So minus b, this is our 2x square plus 1. So we only with the positive sign. So 2x square plus one. The next thing we're gonna write, we're gonna write plus minus and we're gonna write our discriminant. Okay, discriminant equal to this expression with the absolute value. We can easily write it in, uh, in our parentheses because we're considering it right here plus minus. So it's not a mistake to write it with parentheses plus one and we're gonna divide it by by uh, by two, two times one. Okay, we're right here a equal to a equal to one. 2 times 1. Right now we will have two cases. The first one with the plus sign, the second one with the with the minus sign. So let's start for example with t first with the with the positive sign. As a result we have 2x square, so 2x square plus 1 and plus 2x and plus 1. Plus 2x and plus 1. And we divide all of the thing by by 2. What do we have as a result? 2x square, so 2x square. Right here we have plus 2x, plus 2x and plus 1 plus 1 equal to 2. So plus 2 equal, and we divide it by, mm, by uh, 2. As a result, we can easily cancel these two from here, from here, and as a result, our t first equal to x square plus x and plus and plus 1. This is our t first. What about t second? Let's write it. So t second, this is our t, uh, t with the negative sign. So as a result, we have 2x square plus 1 minus, right here we have 2x and minus 1, 2x and minus minus 1. And we're going to divide it by 2. Let's simplify this a little bit. We're going to cancel this one from here. So as a result, we have 2x square minus 2x. So as a result, we have 2x square minus uh, 2x, minus 2x. We're going to divide it by, by 2. So as a result, from here, we can also cancel it by 2. And our t second equal to x square minus minus x. Okay, this is our 2t. But don't forget about our substitution. We have it right here, t equal to t equal to 2. So we can easily write that our t, so but t is equal to 2. So we can easily apply it right here and we can easily apply it right here because these have a t first equal to this expression and t second equal to equal to this expression. So as a result, we have two cases. This expression equal to 2 because t equal to 2. So x squared plus x plus 1. So the first case right here, let's write it real quick. So as a result, we have x squared plus x plus 1 is equal to 2. This is our first case. And the second case, we have 
mm, this one x square minus x equal to so x square minus x is equal to 2. So as a result, we will have two quadratic equations. Let's start with this one on the left side. So as a result, we have x squared plus x, and we're going to subtract 2, so we have minus 1 equal to 0. Let's find real quick our discriminant right here. Or let's, let's try to write this equation, x squared minus x and minus 2 equal to equal to 0. So we have two equations. Let's solve it, and then we will have our x, because we need to find our x. So our discriminant, let's solve this first one. So our discriminant is equal to b square minus 4ac. So b square minus 4ac. So as a result, right here, our discriminant on our left side equal to, we have 1 square minus 4 times a times 1 and times minus minus 1. So as a result, we will have 1 plus 4 equal to 5. So our discriminant on the left side equal to 5. So we will have two real roots. So as a result, we can consider it as x first and second. So two roots we're going to have right here equal to minus b, so minus 1 plus minus square root of 5, and all over to a, all over, all over 2. So we have two roots, really great. Right now let's look closely at this expression on the right side, so let's find our discriminant, so discriminant equal to b square minus 4ac, so we have minus 1, minus 1 square, minus 4 times 1 and times minus 2, which is equal to, so we have 1 plus 8, equal to, equal to 9, so we can easily find our square root of discriminant, so our x second and third equal to minus b. So we have 1 plus minus square root of discriminant square root of 9 and all over 2. So as a result right here we have 1 plus minus 3 all over all over 2. From here we can easily, uh, this is not like uh, second and third, this is third and fourth. A little bit mistaken right here. So x third from here, let's go with the plus sign, 1 plus 3 over 2 equal to 2 and x fourth, x fourth equal to equal to minus minus 1. So a lot of students might be thinking, hey, mister, we solve this question, we have four roots right here, first, second, third, and fourth, but the main thing you need to know, I'm going to rewrite my question real quick right now. Let's rewrite it. So we will have, um, I'm going to write it right here at this new paper, just for, for better understanding. So here's our question, x square minus 2 equal to square root of x plus 2. This is our question. And in the beginning, we had a four re uh, two really important moments, that our x plus 2, x plus 2 need to be positive, greater or equal than 0, and our this expression, x square minus 2, x square minus 2 need to be positive uh, as well. Yeah. And right now we have two roots, so let's write these uh, roots right here on the bottom of it. So let's write it. So our x first equal to, let's go with the plus sign, so we have minus 1 plus square root of 5 over 2, x second equal to, let's go with negative sign, minus 1 minus square root of 5 over 2, x third equal to 2, so I just rewrite all this stuff from here, x third equal to 2, and x fourth equal to minus 1. And a lot of students might be thinking, hey, mister, we really need this all, all of these roots, we told that we have four roots, but in the same way, we need to mention one really important moment. As I said in the beginning, this is true, really uh, extremely important inequality for us, okay? Extremely important inequality, because then right now we're going to plug in each of these roots to this inequality, because we need to have a correct, a correct expression in terms of real numbers. So, for example, we can easily check real quick these two integers root. I'm not, I'm not going to check this one, because this is like a long and complicated Video, but right now let's check real quick x third equal to 2. As a result, we have 2 plus 2. Great right here. Two, uh, uh, we have 4 minus 2 equal to uh, greater, of, of course, greater or equal than 0. So as a result, this root is, is great for us. But when we plug in minus 1, so as a result, we have right here a correct expression. We have minus 1 plus 2 equal to 1. Uh, but right here we have 1 minus 2, which is, which is not correct. So we reject we reject this this root, which is which is not good for us. And of course, I uh, check this uh, root for you. So this root is great for us. This one we we rejected. We rejected. We rejected. So as you can see, we rejected x first from here. We rejected x uh, second. We rejected we rejected x fourth. We just keep this x second and and third. So right now, let's write our final answer to this question. So right now, we can easily say, okay, we finally solve it. So our answer to this question, we have only two roots. We have only x first. So right now, let's write it as x first. This one, minus 1, minus square root of 5 over 2. And right here, we have x second equal to 2. Right now, we can see a graph. You can see these points of 
points of intersection, which is which is also really great. We can easily rewrite this expression in a different way. If you like prefer, for example, we can write it as minus one half minus square root of phi over two. And of course, in the end, let's check this x second equal to two. Let's check it. So let's check real quick. So as a result, we have our expression x square minus two equal to square root of x plus two. Let's plug in right here x equal to two. As a result, we have two square minus two equal to square root of two plus uh, two plus two. Yeah. As a result, we have four minus two equal to square root of, of four. As a result, two equal to two, which is extremely great. We check, check this root. So x first, x second, we rejected this one and this one, which is, I would say like this is not that easy question for, for kids, for students. Uh, just agree with me. Of course, you can write your thoughts about this question. This is like a great question to test a math skills. This is not that easy question, to be honest, because this is like a tricky question, I would say. Yeah? So also write your thoughts, write a question down into the comment section. It will be really interesting to read about it. And thank you everyone for watching. Thank you everyone for your support. Wish you all the best in your life. Take care of yourself and have a great day. See you in the next videos.